Beneath our feet, under the solid ground we walk on, lies a world that is hidden from sight but vital to the functioning of our planet. The Earth's core, deep beneath the surface, remains one of the most mysterious and intriguing parts of our planet. Though we cannot see it, touch it, or drill down to it, scientists have gathered a wealth of information about the Earth's core through indirect means. It is a place of intense heat, unimaginable pressure, and complex dynamics that have shaped the Earth since its formation billions of years ago. To understand the Earth's core, we must journey back to the planet's beginning. About 4.5 billion years ago, the Earth was a molten mass, a young and chaotic planet still forming from the dust and debris left over from the birth of the solar system. As it cooled, heavier elements, like iron and nickel, sank towards the center, while lighter materials floated to the surface. This process of differentiation is what created the layered structure of the Earth we know today, the crust, mantle, and core. At the heart of the Earth lies the core, which is divided into two parts, the outer core and the inner core. The outer core is a layer of molten, liquid metal, primarily composed of iron and nickel. It flows and churns like a vast ocean of liquid metal, moving slowly, slowly but steadily around the inner core. This movement is crucial for generating the Earth's magnetic field, a protective shield that extends out into space and deflects harmful solar radiation. Without this magnetic field, life as we know it would not exist. Beneath the outer core lies the inner core, a solid sphere of iron and nickel about the size of the moon. Despite being hotter than the surface of the sun, the inner core remains solid due to the immense pressure exerted upon it. This pressure, caused by the weight of the entire planet above, is so great that it prevents the iron and nickel from melting, even at temperatures exceeding 5,000 degrees Celsius. The inner core is like a furnace at the heart of the planet, radiating heat outwards, which drives many of the geological processes that shape the Earth's surface. But how do we know all of this? If the core is so deep, and we can't drill down to it, how can we be sure of what lies beneath the Earth's surface? The answer comes from seismic waves, vibrations that travel through the Earth during earthquakes. When an earthquake occurs, it sends shock waves rippling through the planet. By studying the way these waves move, reflect, and refract as they pass through different layers of the Earth, scientists can infer what those layers are made of. Seismic waves come in two main types, P waves, which are compressional and can travel through both liquids and solids, and S waves, which are shear waves and can only travel through solids. When these waves reach, reach the boundary between the mantle and the outer core, the S waves stop, indicating that the outer core is liquid. But P waves continue to travel through the outer core and behave differently when they reach the inner core, suggesting that the inner core is solid. This seismic evidence has been confirmed through countless earthquakes and seismic readings over the decades, painting a detailed picture of the Earth's internal structure. But there is still much we don't know. For example, recent studies suggest that the inner core may not be perfectly solid, but rather contain pockets of liquid or softer material. Some scientists even believe that the inner core could be rotating slightly faster than the rest of the Earth, though this remains a topic of debate. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Earth's core is its role in generating the planet's magnetic field. As the liquid outer core flows and moves, it creates electric currents, which in turn generate magnetic fields. This process is known as the geodynamo. The interaction between the outer core's motion and the rotation of the Earth causes these magnetic fields to combine and form a single, powerful magnetic field that surrounds the planet. This magnetic field is not static, it changes over time. The Earth's magnetic poles have flipped many times throughout the planet's history, with the north and south magnetic poles swapping places. These geomagnetic reversals occur irregularly, sometimes happening every few hundred thousand years, other times taking much longer. The cause of these reversals is not fully understood, but it is thought to be related to changes in the flow of the outer core. Despite the importance of the Earth's core, it is a realm that remains largely out of reach. The deepest hole ever drilled, 
the Kola Super Deep Borehole in Russia, only reached about 12 kilometers below the surface, barely a scratch on the Earth's crust, which is about 30 to 40 kilometers thick on average. average. The core, by contrast, lies thousands of kilometers beneath the surface. To reach the outer core, one would have to travel over 2,900 kilometers down, and to reach the inner core, nearly 5,150 kilometers. This vast distance, combined with the extreme temperatures and pressures, makes it impossible for humans to directly explore the core. However, scientists continue to find new ways to study it indirectly. In addition to seismic waves, researchers use experiments with high-pressure materials to simulate the conditions of the core in laboratory settings. By compressing materials like iron and nickel to extreme pressures and heating them to thousands of degrees, scientists can observe how these elements behave and compare their findings to the data gathered from seismic studies. One of the most pressing questions about the Earth's core concerns its long-term evolution. Over billions of years, the Earth has been slowly cooling. As the planet loses heat, the liquid outer core will gradually solidify, and the inner core will continue to grow. This process is still in its early stages, the inner core is only about 1% of the Earth's total volume, but over time, it could have significant implications for the planet. If the outer core were to completely solidify, the geodynamo would stop, and the Earth's magnetic field would disappear. This would leave the planet exposed to harmful solar and cosmic radiation, much like what we see on Mars, which no longer has a magnetic field to protect it. Life on Earth would become much more difficult, and many species would struggle to survive without the magnetic shield that currently deflects this radiation. However, this scenario is likely billions of years away. away. For now, the Earth's core continues to function as the engine that powers the planet's magnetic field, drives plate tectonics, and plays a critical role in maintaining the conditions necessary for life. Another intriguing aspect of the core is its composition. While we know that the core is primarily made of iron and nickel, it also contains smaller amounts of other elements. Scientists have detected traces of lighter elements, such as sulfur, oxygen, and silicon, within the core. These elements likely became incorporated into the core during the planet's formation, sinking along with the iron and nickel as the Earth differentiated. Understanding the precise composition of the core is important because it helps scientists build more accurate models of the Earth's formation and its thermal evolution. The heat generated by the core is one of the main drivers of geological activity, such as volcanic eruptions and the movement of tectonic plates. By studying the core, scientists can gain insights into these processes and better understand how they have shaped the Earth's surface over millions of years. In addition to its impact on geology and the magnetic field, the core also plays a role in the study of earthquakes. Some of the most powerful earthquakes ever recorded have been linked to deep mantle processes, which are influenced by the dynamics of the core. Understanding the interaction between the core and the mantle can help scientists better predict and prepare for these natural disasters. The Earth's core is a place of extremes, extreme heat, extreme pressure, and extreme mystery. It is a realm that we can never directly explore, yet it holds the key to understanding so much about our planet. From the magnetic field that protects us from cosmic radiation to the tectonic forces that shape our continents, the core is central to the Earth's function and evolution. In many ways, the Earth's core remains one of the final frontiers of our planet, a hidden world that lies beneath our feet, waiting to be understood. As technology advances, and as scientists continue to develop new methods of studying the core indirectly, we may one day unlock the full story of what lies at the heart of our planet. For now, the core remains an enigma, a fiery furnace deep within the Earth, driving the forces that make our planet a dynamic, living world.